What's up guys, how's it going? This is Jim with Fusion Grill. Today I've been having a craving. I've been wanting to cook some smoked queso. So this is what we're gonna do. What I have is some tomatoes. I have some hatched chilies. I have a serrano pepper, some garlic. I'm gonna use some Gouda cheese and some cheddar cheese, milk, some salt. And now I'm excited to try this. The first time I've, I've used this, this is what is called sodium citrate. It is an emulsifier, so that way when I put the cheeses in, you add the sodium citrate and it keeps the consistency of the cheese very smooth as opposed to being clumping up. I'm gonna use my Kamado Big Joe for this. I filled it up with um, lump, KB lump, and I am gonna use mesquite wood. I'm gonna start off lighting it here. And that shall get us going. Give us about 20, 30 minutes to get to the temp that we want. And I got it about 250, 300 degrees. This is my setup. Um, I put my griddle on one side. I have my cast iron grate here. I'm gonna start off by putting, get a nice charred side with these peppers and vegetables. Add my tomatoes. I'm also gonna add some of the garlic on here. Give me a little bit of char and see how that goes. So I put the vegetables on the grill. I'm gonna give them a little bit of a char to get that, uh, get that grill taste. Afterwards, I'll peel some of the skin off on, on those things and then we'll add them to the queso. Let's go check out how these vegetables are looking. Ooh. Nice little char on that serrano. I think I'm gonna take off the tomatoes and I'll char. Ooh, here we go. Let me get these hatches, get a little bit more charred up. And we should be good. All right, we're getting hot in here. Okay guys, it's hot outside right now. It's like 100 degrees here in Houston. But what I did is I went ahead and chopped all the vegetables. We're gonna put those in. We're gonna add the cheese. Woohoo! Here's the Gouda. Let's put all this in there. Yeah. Let's add this milk. This is the salt. And we're gonna add the sodium citrate. First time using it, hopefully it works. Let's go ahead and put this on the grill. I got it going, it's, it's gotten a little hot. We're about like 350. I wanted it around 300, 250. We'll work with it. I put mesquite wood in here, so let's see what kind of flavor that gives. And we'll just shut her down and just check in every once in a while, stir it up. We'll have some queso for dinner. It's been about 20, 30 minutes. We're gonna go check it out and see what we're looking at. Voila. There we go. I think we're ready to take it off. Let it rest a little bit. And I'm gonna add some more toppings here shortly. So I had some leftover brisket that we used from a past cook. And I'm gonna put, wanna put that in the queso. So what I'm gonna do is just oil the surface a little bit. Got some leftover brisket. I'm gonna go ahead. I just finished reheating my brisket on my griddle. We're ready to serve it. So take your favorite guac. Go ahead and take the queso.
and I'm gonna put some brisket in there. And I'm also gonna use some cotija cheese. And then I'm gonna finish it off by adding some cilantro. Now let's give it the test. Let us see. It's awesome, guys. Really good flavor, good consistency, and not too runny. It's perfect. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit more so I can get some of that brisket. Mmm. Really good, guys. So if you wanna try this, give it a shot. I'll put the recipe in the description. There you have it, smoked queso.